Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Uh, the boat is already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map before you leave. I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Ah, after how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again, especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Temporary Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry, I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. I didn't mean like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Temerio Commission does catch up to you, then uh, make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me. But uh, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Uh, why did you want to come back anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't use to like this place at all, that's why I left. But looking back on it, things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realise that, I got restless and I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I left behind. So I uh, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late. Anyway, I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead I found myself in the situation I'm in now. Ugh, what a pity. Talk to us about it, maybe we could. If only there was no Sakoku decree, right? Anyway, don't worry, we're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. Tell me your commission, if only they weren't so overzealous. There might be a way... Oh, that's right, the elderly couple, old customs of ours. Their son from the Temerio Commission, isn't he? Yeah, quite high up as well. That's it, I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Uh, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people, I know them very well. They won't cause us any issues. Alright, you should go back indoors. Sakuduro will be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Wait, hang on, what about the fireworks? All those materials, there's so many orders to finish. Pops, pops. Oh, never mind. I know I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Okay, where, where are we going? Where, where, where are we going? That way. Oh, we're talking to the old couple. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Okay, it's like. You guys are such cursed. <laughs> Why are you adding noses to the smiley faces? <laughs> I hate, like, I can't do a smiley face with my nose, but my dad always uses the nose smiley face and it always cracks me up, but it's always <laughs> so silly. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, well, if it isn't your Mia, come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? Yes, they're travellers from afar. Outsiders have a very different ti difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Indeed, these are unprecedented times, but seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us. Every year, first your father and now you. I wonder if I will still be alive to see the next heir of Naganohara fireworks. Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that is bad luck. Ugh, we aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth, but now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up. I don't worry, say no more, we'll handle it. Oh, no, no, we can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our house. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine, it's not like that. It's the first time I've helped with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up, but once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come back more often. If no trouble, really, we don't mind helping. Ah, oh, you're good kids. As for mine, he's all grown up now, hasn't found anyone yet, and he doesn't visit very often. If you're quite sure it's no trouble, then I have some pickled radishes here. Would you mind delivering it to Satoru on the other side of the village? Sure, it won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first and then deliver the pickled radish. I guess we are gen genuinely just doing their chores? How how do we do that? Where are the weeds? Where are the weeds? How do I, how, oh, here are the weeds. How do, we, how do you weed? Okay. Is it Jean? Can Jean weed? <gasps> okay, Jean can weed. Can I stab them or do I have to? Oh no, you can just stab them, okay. <laughs> this is a lot easier. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to like find which element was supposed to get rid of the weeds without 
everything else. I was considering a fire, and then I thought maybe that would just burn down the whole garden, and that's probably not what I was supposed to be doing. But that's okay. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Um, okay, it looks like... Oh! Okay, we're delivering the pickled radishes. Okay, let me see. Oh gosh. We Willy Winky. <laughs> I don't know. Do, I don't think I know what this is, but I, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Why is this? Why does he exist? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is taking a long. Okay. I'm trying to scroll and read the chat. That's why it's zooming in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. The more I see about Willy Willy Winky, it's terrifying though. Like, what is this? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Why are children's bedtime stories so terrifying? I mean, I get, this is exactly what the, the the parents are trying to get their kids to do, literally. But then Grimia turned it into fun and a prankster. <laughs> it's no longer terrifying. Um, hey, Satoru, how have you been? Keeping well? Same as usual, not much has changed. You're looking full of life as always. All thanks to the support of our loyal customers, the family business just keeps getting better and better. We sold some fireworks to Leo a while back, and word is they were a real hit, so it looks like we'll be getting more business from the, over there in the future. That must mean a lot more work for you though, are you sure you and Mr. Yunusuke can manage? If it gets too much, don't forget you can always ask me for help, hmm? We should be fine, I think we can cope. Oh yes, this is some pickled radish from Miss Imatani. Wow, thanks so much, I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? But then I tried some Mrs. Inamatami's homemade stuff and I couldn't get enough of it. It's a family staple now. Speaking of your family, how is everyone doing? Uh, they're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Being close to family is better than never getting to see them, even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatami seem to have a great relationship, but still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Huh, they didn't seem that way to me. I think they're just not used to it. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. I'm sure they loved that, as would all of us in Condor Village. You're always welcome here. Ah, thank you. Uh, now that we've finished all the chores... Okay, where are we going? Oh, back to the couple. Oh, maybe this is... Now we've talked to them, maybe they'll ask their son for us about not having to smuggle the guy out of the country. Oh, gosh. Oh, um... No channel points. I think you have to be an affiliate to get that, and I only just got over 50 followers. So, I'm the, not currently an affiliate, but I have to figure out how to do that. And also, that means that adverts will become a thing. So, not currently, but maybe soon, maybe soon, maybe not soon, depending on how I end up thinking about the adverts, but maybe soon. And yeah, all the Sandman also sounds terrifying. Why? Oh gosh. Um, the 50th was, in fact, in Little Festival the second, but then, like, four more people since, so it balanced itself out. <laughs> okay, that was quick. Ah, young people are so handy. Younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Ah, so it has. Goodness how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly 50 years have passed. 50 years since what? Some important day? Ah, well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over that. Oh, stop trying to impress them. We both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. Well, maybe you're right. 50 years ago, I proposed my wife at the Naganahara Fireworks Show. We've been together ever since. Aww, that's so cute. Uh, to tell the truth, it was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was going to... what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara shop and ordered my firework. Even as it was rising up into the sky, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Before I knew what was happening, apparently I'd already said it, and well, she'd said yes. 50 years, in some ways, it's a long time, in others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. But 50 years of being together, now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Oh no, it's quite alright. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Seeing that fireworks go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age, we still look back with not a single regret. Oh, what a great relationship they have. 
Enough about us though, Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but uh, here goes. Okay. Ah, Sakajiro, so he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. They were inseparable, they grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day they had a terrible argument. Sakajiro seems to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But uh, Kesuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like, they get terribly worked up these days over about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakajiro stormed off and that was that. I see. Kisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was really hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk about talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Temryo Commission. He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Kisuke and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakajiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. Ah, what a strange coincidence, who would have thought? I understand now. When I asked Sakajiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Temryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Temryo Commission's most wanted list. Fate. Fate, I tell you. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakajiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something that's for Sakajiro and Kisuke to resolve between themselves. Yes, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. Ooh, maybe we can go talk to the sun. Or maybe he's going to talk to the sun, like the, the guy who's running from the law <laughs> will go and talk to the sun. Maybe that's how it's going to work. Um... Oh, yes, we can do bosses after the quest, assuming it ends somewhat soon. Uh... <laughs> oh! Bye, Dark and Black. I hope you have a good... I don't know what time of day it is, but, you know, morning, afternoon, evening. I hope you have a good rest of the day and rest of the week, because it's currently Wednesday and I next stream on Sunday. So uh, if you show up on Sunday, then it will have been the rest of the week. So have, have a good rest of the week. And yeah. Um, it will probably end in, like, half an hour-ish. Usually it ends... It's usually about three hours long, and it's been two hours and 34 minutes. But, but, you know, sometimes it overruns. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, it is! <laughs> 23.34, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Yumiya, something bad's happened. Some people from Temio Commission came by. <gasps> huh? What? Do, do they know? Pops, are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen, it seemed like they knew Sakajiro was inside. Luckily Sakajiro had them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Temuyo Commission wasn't able to capture him. This is bad news, I don't think Sakajiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Temuyo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Uh, did you catch their names? Good point, names we names suddenly shown like this, surely it must be Kisuke's doing. Commission wouldn't normally cause as big of a fuss over a stowaway. Sorry, my ears are no good, and I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I caught their names, but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did! <gasps> Why he goes back? I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just as I thought. Thanks! If Sakajiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakajiro. We can't let that happen. Come with me, Keiko. Let's track them down. Oh, oh, this does make sense. It is currently in the UK 22. Well, it's 35 now, but... Oh, we know. Yeah, it's 35 now. But oh, that's cool. Okay, well, good night then. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, okay. Well, let's go this way. Um, we're going to go over here, and we're going to... I really should do that, but like... Then I have to get an electric character out, and I'm too lazy. <laughs> okay, let me- oh! The children? I wasn't expecting the children to become- to come back. I thought we sort of finished with them. Um, hi, Yumiya. Are the weapons to scare away the great Majina yokai ready yet? Oh, Miss Rinosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Um, aren't you gonna play with us, Yumiya? Oh, sorry, I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the ones you guys love. Yay, we can get candy! 
Uh, also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Did you see a bunch of scary looking men come by here at all? Uh, yeah, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? Uh, no, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, right? Stay in the city for now and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, you and Mia. Okay. We have a clue. Okay, it looks like we've got to go this way. Are we going to bump into like everybody we meet? Because it looks like we're getting vaguely close to where the village is. Because I think the village is... Oh, there it is. Hello. Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. So Kajira and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ah, what a nuisance. Well, you only have... You've only got yourselves to blame. That is a fighting stance. What are you about to do? <sighs> oh, I forgot we always test out the characters, don't we? So like, is this... What does she do? Okay, she sets things... Okay. Is that a bow? Oh, she has a bow. Cool. I'm mostly trying to click this slowly because I'm hoping I'll be able to... I'll get enough to click the Q, but I'm also thinking that possibly I'm just too... She's just too strong. We're not going to get to see what the Q does. Oh, no, okay, there's some more. Okay. And let's do this. I don't know what that did, but it looked quite pretty. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I try, I'm hoping that I can trigger the Q so we can see what it does. Oh, I was ready. Okay. Ooh. Fireworks. Don't know what it means, because I, I can see this glowy things. This guy is glowing, but why is he glowing? It'd probably help if I actually, like, read the instructions, but... Eh. I also don't know if you can read the instructions because they don't tell you how to use these characters when they show up. They just kind of show up and then it's like, okay, <laughs> here's a new character. Have fun trying to figure out what the buttons do because we're not going to tell you. And because I don't own the character, I can't just like look it up. Or maybe I can, but not in the same way I could just like click C and look up a character I did have. I think that one might infuse things because I feel like I shouldn't be able to do fire damage that quickly because I wasn't using charged shots. I was just clicking. Okay, um, how dare you impede the work of the Tremio Commission? You will be punished for your actions. There is no way you can escape justice, not even at the edges of the world. Uh, look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. We can't waste any more time with these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Okay. I gotta go this way. Off we go. Up here. And then... I guess they're on the... Oh, there they are. Oh, we probably tried to escape on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakajiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. If this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tremio Commission to wait your sentencing. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Wait, it doesn't have to end like this. Don't you th have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're now going to hire this girl who makes the fireworks. Huh. I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It's okay. You and me are the past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limbs to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is your chance you've been waiting for to talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Terrio Commission. There was never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say, and you're just going to choose to keep it all inside? Uh, don't flatter yourself, what do you know? You may leave it, it was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it, I will not stand by and watch what you ha when you haven't even done anything. Kizuke, you seem to like setting settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you need to say everything that's in your heart, no more running away from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakajiro. If I win, you will take Keisuke exact tell Keisuke exactly why you came back. No matter what the consequences are, you have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose, then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakajiro and accept the Temryo Commission's punishment. 
Give me up. I accept. Let's settle this with a jewel. I see. More stabbing time. Well, in this case, shooting. Wait, where did these extra guys come from? This was not part of the plan. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave Yao Yao and uh, <laughs> Xiang Ling to deal with those guys. And then I'm going to get... Where did she go? I want to... you got to use her in her little... you got to use her in her fire. we got to... Oh, my bad. we got to use the fire. It's part of the fun. Like, what was I supposed to do? Not use the fire. Ooh. I like when it charges up. It gets like fireworks. I love it. <laughs> She's really fun. <laughs> I also think I missed that horribly, but that, that's okay. Because yeah, I don't think I should be able to deal fire damage from just clicking things. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> but it does, which I think means that I'm doing something correctly. Well, not correctly. I think it, that's what the, the E does. I don't know. I have no idea what those things are supposed to do, though. Do they explode more? I don't know. I, I don't have any idea what they do, but they must do something. I also love that whenever they let you test out a character, the characters- oh! We didn't have to defeat the other guys, only him! Um, I also love that the other characters are they're always like super strong, which means you get to see them at full capacity. Okay, uh, they are too strong, we need more men. Stand down. Uh, what? I thought I told you to stay away, now stand down. Uh, yes sir, sorry. Oh, he's off again. <laughs> he leaves in a panic. A young lady, you are just as obstinate as Sakajiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because Sakajiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then your parents told me what happened between you when you were younger. Once I heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I think you refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? The reason I came back is that I felt lost. It wasn't that I changed my mind, I just felt that what I'd done in the past was a try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liga, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. Ooh, justice, interesting. Uh, it all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sakoku decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that, but really what I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back, out of the naive hope of changing the way things are here. No, I let go of those illusions of grandeur. I just felt that I never should have run away like that. After all, you never ran away. <gasps> I don't know about you, but life hasn't always been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas are my personal creed and I desire nothing more than to see her well done. But now my role is to punish a violation of the Sakoku Decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Chemio Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? The boat is yours. Huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that, I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, wait for me out there. And don't keep the bucket on the way out. Don't worry, Kizuke. Any chance we could watch the fireworks together? Hmm, maybe next time. Oh no, he's not gonna... He just left. I, I really hope he doesn't die on the way out there, because it sounds like he could. Like, it's a real possibility. Ugh, I'll be demoted for sure. It's not like me to give into childish sentiment like this. I can't say why I went through with it. That boat. It's the one that Sakajiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshikata and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Forcing Sakajiro to the spot was also something I had planned all along. It's just like you said, Yoimiya, even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing, and look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. And that's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I'd heard that there was new Naganahara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but you live up to the family name. By the way, Naganahara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off by then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slip for reference, I can't make the same one again. I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, I see. Never mind then. Ah, oh, don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakajiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakajiro probably won't be needing his anymore. You'd be ashamed for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Uh, thank you very much. No worries, and don't miss out on the start of the firework show. Oh, did they all set them off themselves? I thought this was like a big... 
I think I misunderstood the definition of a fireworks show. Uh, Yoimiya, the way you took command of that whole situation was amazing. What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Sekajiro and Kizuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me, I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My purpose was to set off the fireworks that I wanted to give it to you. Oh, okay, I know where we're going. We're back here again. <laughs> this is the place where it all tried to kill me, but it's fine. This is also the festival island, so we can climb. Okay, we gotta wait. My stamina is too low, and then we can climb the rock. Oh, thank you for my streamy reminder. <laughs> Yes, that was quite sweet that they did it. He was always going to let him escape. You can tell. He brought him here, like, next to the beach. The perfect escape route. Why am I so bad at climbing rocks? <laughs> I should really just go to the front of the island and, like, go the normal way. But, like, it just doesn't... There's too much overhang. Okay, I think I actually have to go around. It won't let me. I think I did it before, though. So maybe I found the place beforehand and now I've lost it. But we're going to have to run the normal way. Up the mountain. <laughs> okay, okay, up here. And then we can watch the fireworks. I hope it makes it nighttime though, because it's currently. Okay, yeah. It was the middle of the evening. Like, no, the mid. It was like twilight, not quite nighttime. So you mean these fireworks? What do they mean to you? Oh, Mia? Ah, that was amazing. It was so beautiful I could weep. Oh, I didn't actually cry though, right? It just I just feel a bit misty eyed. Uh, it was very pretty. Oh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? That's the one I had popped to make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it. It was one of the best ones. They won't forget that anytime soon. Huh, that's why I wanted to hit. I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you and no matter what harshness might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time go by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. Thank you. Uh, you know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Oh, I could hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky, it feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You ask me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built that boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Kisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Kisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Hmm. Unwavering beliefs, right? Oh, right. Beliefs. As for me, to be honest, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously, huh? Paimon was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one has ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that they are most precious the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear, and it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. Also consider this, you have to have the Nagana heart because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? 
You know, Keiko, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often, but I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. <gasps> we did it! We did it! I like it. Also, I am fully convinced that Keisuke and... Who was it? Sakunajiro or something? Definitely... Definitely exes. <laughs> I there's no other way I'm gonna interpret that. They they have way too much tension. <laughs> way too much tension. And him calling out his name into the night sky, definitely. Okay, okay. Um Why is Paimon telling me to go to the tea house? Did I unlock a quest? Oh, I think I unlocked Act 2. <laughs> but that's okay. Um Oh, you're in the new area. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, they do kind of have divorce energy. <laughs> okay, um, tell me when it's a good time. Okay, that means it is, I did finish this, which means I did say it was boss time. So I guess, so I can let me know when it's a good time and we can go, we can go fight the bosses. I assume it would be soon, but if it's not soon, I can do something else for the, well, it's either bosses now or bosses never. So, <laughs> so yeah. Let me know when you're in a not deadly place and then I can come join you. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm going to, oh, I'll show people. Oh, okay, you're good. Okay, okay. Time to go and fight the bosses. And if anyone else, because I don't actually know who's online and who's not online. Anyone else ever wants to fight bosses who happens to be on the EU server and is what, like world level five, I think? You're welcome to come fight bosses with me or propose bosses. I can come to you as well. <laughs> Um, but yes, just to announce that, because I know we got some new people who may or may not be there <laughs> anymore, but still. Yeah, just thought I would say it. Okay, I wonder what we're gonna fight today, because there are so many possibilities. And also because I, I have no idea what bosses there are, and I have no idea what bosses Soft Hyphen has unlocked, and what we're fighting, because I, I don't really have any preferences. I don't think any of my characters are in desperate need of leveling up materials. Okay. Ayaka kind of is, but I'll get to her eventually because I assume it will unlock, you know, we're sort of in the right time period, like quest, like we're in the right area for her quest to unlock naturally. Um, ooh. Oh, you're fighting the, we're fighting the, oh, you're, d okay, this is fine. Um, oh, I don't want to be, it's too late. Can't configure the party. So we're having Jean and Yao Yao. Which is fine. We can have Jean and Yao Yao. At least Yao Yao can make the little core things. But um, sadly, there's no one with a bow. So the best we can do is have Yao Yao's bunny try and uh, try and get things. <laughs> but that, that's gonna be okay. We can just we can just have to stab things. I hope nothing goes far away because I will not be able to reach it because no bows. <laughs> is it gonna let me? No. Okay. I was hoping it would just let me because um. Technically, oh, I guess she's still here, the boss. The boss is still here, even if the other bits aren't. Oh, these guys fly though. How are we supposed to get these? Oh, and they just dive bomb me, okay. It's gonna be fine. I don't know how I'm supposed to reach them, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> just gonna have to hope for the best. And use Yao Yao. Yao Yao can kind of hit them, so that, that's fine. Oh, that would do it too. Let me see if I can do this. And then, I see, see the bird, it's just too tall. How am I supposed to reach that bird? Can I, can I jump and get it? Nope. <laughs> oh, but it can stab me though. Very rude, very rude. <laughs> oh, I wish I had literally anybody else. <laughs> I don't know who I would take though, maybe Fischl? I don't know. I don't know, because the, the best bow character I have is Yelan, but unfortunately Yelan is obviously water, so hydro, so it wouldn't really, it wouldn't really work <laughs> in the same way. I'm wondering if I should just like leave and come back, but I'm kind of curious to see if I could do it without doing that. Um, Cause I mean, Yao Yao is doing damage, but like not, just not a lot of damage. It's like little bits. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I think I might teleport away <laughs> from the battle and, oh, I never noticed it was like there. I always thought it was, I don't know, I didn't notice it was in the ocean. Okay. Oh! Well, that was rude. Why did it kill Yao Yao? Okay, guess we're gonna... Well, now I kind of want to go to a statue. 
Okay, I hope you survive long enough that I can come back <laughs> without you dying and having to restart. Okay, this, this is fine. Okay, let me, let me switch out. Um, let me get... Who? Um, somebody with range. Yeah, the fish will do. Okay, let, let me let me go back. <laughs> let me go back. Hopefully, everybody's all good. Um, okay, I think this is the closest teleport. And then we just have to run back. Running back, not so fun, but manageable. Manageable. Yeah, I don't know why I never clocked that it was an open ocean, but it definitely is. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, <laughs> I guess we have to restart this, but that's okay. Now I have Fischl, so it should be better. At least I have range and also officials electric, so that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. Against against water. So get away here. Oh you died. That's okay. We can find something else if you want, but I assumed you were coming back, so I'm waiting at the at the ocean lid. Birds. There was no way we could fight the birds because none of us had range, and so it was. It was nothing. There's nothing we could do. It was, you know, death basically, or nothing. We were basically trying to survive as long as possible, but we couldn't actually hit them, so we could never do damage. It was just surviving. So yeah, I can see that soft life has got amber out. Oh no, it's too close again. <laughs> I'm just gonna run in circles. I love that I'm here first this time. I really like living up. This is such character growth. I'm here early for the boss fight, or technically super late, depending on how you want to view it, given that I left and then <laughs> had to come back. But yeah. I also, I love Yaoya so much. She's so adorable. <laughs> and the little Barney, so cute. <laughs> I love that all the tiny characters are really cute and they all, they all run the same, very adorable. Anyway. What do I just see? They look like a tiny bird. Did you have a tiny bird? It looked like a tiny bird. Maybe I imagined it. Okay, okay, so let's do this. And then let's do this. And then let's... Actually, I should probably... The thing is I forgot that since I did this, that means that no one actually has good attacks because <laughs> Yao Yao is not built to attack things. She's built to be a healer. And Fischl also. I mean, Fischl probably should be an attacker, but she's just not. Because she's just too easily damaged to be... <laughs> oh! I forgot Hyper Bloom was a thing. <laughs> okay, yes. Fischl is too easily... Her... <laughs> she doesn't have very high health. Also, she's only like level 40 compared to... Most of my other characters are like... Okay, the good characters are level 60 plus. But Fischl's only... Yeah, like Yao Yao's 67. Fischl though, <laughs> like 40. Because... I apparently did not- I only really leveled up my four main characters, which was probably a mistake, to be honest, but it is what it is. <laughs> and it means that- yeah, see that happens. Fischl- yeah, Fischl's dead. But that's okay. We're gonna- we're gonna leave a little bit. We're gonna try and heal up with Yao Yao while we revive Fischl. Um, yeah, I'll use this. <laughs> okay, uh, the good news is Yao Yao's basically healed, and then Fischl can just sort of sit here and do some damage from afar because, you know- oh! Okay, this is it. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay. The next set's down. The next set's down. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is fine. I'm too late to what? Okay, this is fine. Here we go. Okay, where are they coming? Where are they going? Please don't be the birds. Oh, it is the bird, but like the other bird. This bird is like less deadly, but like, oh, that's not good. That's not good for Fischl. Fischl! This is fine. Okay, this is, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, Fischl's ready, so we can do this as well. And then we can do this, and then we can do this. I don't really know, I'm just gonna press buttons and then run around a bit while pressing more buttons. That That's the solution here. Just press buttons. And then we can click things and then do this. 
Um, okay, and then try and leave so that I don't- oh, that's not good. Okay, this is fine. Mm-hmm, definitely fine. Okay, this is, this is fine. Fischl's back to being healthy, which is always a good thing. <laughs> okay, this, this is okay. We can do this, and then- oh, run, that thing's trying to charge at me. Do this. Oh, I don't like that. Don't know what it was. Don't like it, though. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do this. And then do... I think if I shoot this, it should do something. I'm pretty sure Oz is, like, powered up. So if you shoot him, he does something. Oh. I don't like that he's charging. That's probably not a good thing. Kind of hoping he doesn't charge at me, but <laughs> it's still not a good thing in general. Okay, so this is... He's electrocuted. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know. Um, we do that. And I think we can just use Yao Yao. Because Yao Yao... Because we've got the... Oz is like on the scene. We don't have to worry about the electricity. It will happen automatically. However, this Oceanade is a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> oh dear. It, it's fine. Okay, okay. This is okay. Um, oh. This is fine. Okay, let me, let me leave this here. Oh, yeah, it's not ready. Okay, let me leave that there, and then let me leave that there, and then let me just, like, flee. Because if I don't flee... Yeah, that happens. She got too close. <laughs> she got too close. Let me feed her again, and then and then we should be fine. Oh, this, this is fine. Um, let's do that, and then... Oh, it wasn't ready. Okay, this is going to be okay. It's not going to be... It's going to be fine. Um, I need to be Yao Yao, because I think Yao Yao has slightly... I saw that. That was almost terrible. Oh. Great. <laughs> Guess we're going to stab things then. Is the is the only solution is just to try and stab them. Because Fischl's dead again. I literally only just healed Fischl, which means I won't be able to just heal her back up again. Because she's only recently been healed, which means I won't have enough... Um, what do you call it? It's, it's been too short. The cooldown won't be over. But that's fine. We'll just have to punch things a bit, and then we'll go. We'll be okay. Is it short? No. Yep. Yeah. That's gonna take like a whole minute, but that's fine. I'm just gonna put this here for a second. Oh, okay, it's ready. Oh no, this is fine. This is just a little healing break while we wait for we while we wait for the water creatures to show up. So far, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh, the chubby bird. I like the chubby bird as like aesthetic wise, but it's rubbish in terms of, yeah, does a lot of damage. So I hate it because it, it kills you a lot. But that's, that's fine. Uh oh, this bird looks like it's angry. I think I need to learn how to dodge better. Would be ideal, <laughs> but I don't know how to dodge better. So, you know, we, we do my best, but. I'm not really sure what I'm doing most of the time, but that, that's okay. Um, is fish already yet? No, okay, not yet. I don't know if I'm going to need fish. Oh! I said that and then immediately took a whole bunch of damage. So I think I do need fish. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to just do this a bit more. I don't know how many more oceanids we have to go through. As in, it, I know that every time you defeat these guys, it does take down its health. But I don't know if that's like one more, like just this guy, or if there's like another whole round after like left, or like what? Was that it? Oh, I think that was it. We did it. <gasps> what is that thing? <laughs> it's a tiny little bird. I love it. I don't know what this thing is. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this thing's so fun. I want one. I think it's the new thing. I think I saw it, but I don't know how you get it. Um, is it one of these? Oh no, I don't think I've unlocked it. I think there's a thing, I just I just can't get it. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, where did Soft Hyphen go? <gasps> is this the chicken? I think this is the chicken. <laughs> We're gonna fight the green chicken. In which case, I'm gonna switch back. I think it's a plant chicken, so I probably don't want to be Yao Yao. So I'm gonna switch to, um, probably Jean and Xiongling, because fire. I think. Fire is usually a good thing, right? Right? In this situation. I think if you're fighting a plant, fire is a good thing. Okay, this, this is fine. Okay. 
it's thinking. Do not bring Electro. Okay, okay, I will not. I will not. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> um, I just need to bring Jin and Xiangling. And it'll be fine. And because I didn't use Xiangling, she's perfectly healed. <laughs> but yeah, it's the fire chicken. The, not fire, plant chicken. We love the plant chicken. It makes it super deadly. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, now we know, now we know. Good thing, good thing I don't have Electro. <laughs> good thing none of my good characters are Electro. Okay. Let's set you on fire. And then let's use Jean to make the fire worse. Always a good start, always a good start. Oh. Do oh, okay. What's it? I think I just heard it made chicken noises. I thought I heard it make like... I, I don't know how to describe it other than chicken noises. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This thing is the best thing ever. Look at it, it's majestic. Majestic. Oh, come back here. <laughs> and I like that it's like a mushroom chicken. It's a, what? Shroom Lord? Yeah, Shroom Lord. It's mushroom. Like its tail looks like, uh, what is it? Oh, is that mushrooms? I don't know. It looks like it has a mushroom texture. <laughs> Which I think is very thematically appropriate. Oh, there's so much fire around this. Xiaoling's fire tornado is very happy. <laughs> very, very, very happy. And it's taking so much fire damage. This is still going so well. See this, we have the right characters to defeat this. Apparently we have rubbish characters for defeating the water thing, but this, this mushroom, easy peasy. <laughs> Probably because we have good fire characters. And, you know, that's all you really need. Good fire characters, very good against the mushroom. So yeah, I think I'm clicking it. Oh, now I also know that you can definitely hear the clicking. I, I'm now like hyper aware of how many times I click the mouse. Like one day this mouse is gonna, oh, it's gonna break because I clicked too rapidly. <laughs> but for now, it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do this. And then let's do this. And then we do some more clicking. But yeah, it's really pretty. I also like, it's a good shade of green. And it has little things coming out of its face. <laughs> I don't know what those are called, but I also think that's really dramatic. I love it. <laughs> okay, we did it. Two down, two to go, two to go. We got three of these, exciting. Do you know what they're used for? I mean, I know what they're used for, leveling up characters, but I don't know who, but you know. Good to have, good to have. And we got some um, green gem things, which will be useful for Yao Yao in general, because Yao Yao needs the plant cubes, but you also need the gems. And you can get the gems from other things. I want to fight a boss that just released. Uh, sure, why not? Well, I guess, how deadly is it in terms of, um, oh, I never looked at the glowing mushrooms before. Look, they're so pretty. Um, so, but yeah, yes, but like, is it going to end well <laughs> is the real question. Okay, we're gonna find out, I guess. Okay, okay. I think if I just have to pick two things based on power, I should probably keep Xiangling and Jean because they're my best two characters. And also the fire is always useful and Jean with her wind can make the fire a little bit worse. And I think, yeah, I don't think anything else is good. Oh, never fought it. I guess I'll find out, I guess I'll find out. Um, because like Yao Yao's plants, Adorable. They're good for healing, but they're not necessarily very useful otherwise. Except literally for healing. Wait, did I teleport to the wrong one? I did. I teleported to the wrong one. I teleport here. Okay, okay. Oh, hello! Um, Demon Tyrius. That's my guess. Hello! Welcome to the stream. It's, it's... You've come at a somewhat questionable time in the sense that... I was meant to end the stream about 10 minutes ago, but for some reason, every time I go to fight the bosses, it always overruns. So there isn't, I'm not wishing for too much longer. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what this means, but that's fine. Okay, great, that's crystals. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna fight some, we're fighting, doing my boss fights for the day. So there's two more boss fights to go. We're gonna fight the new boss. Don't know what the new boss is because it's new. <laughs> and I, I haven't even unlocked Sumeru. 
but such hyphen has. So we're going to fight the new boss. Oh, pretty things. Probably deadly though. <laughs> so we're gonna, it's going to be an adventure. I know I have to start the bosses earlier, but I couldn't start the bosses earlier because I was in the middle of the quest. Uh, it's a cooler thunder manifestation. Ooh, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, I should have them earlier. But the thing is, sometimes they don't take very long, but I forget because now I've leveled up, the bosses got harder too, <laughs> which means they take longer than I think they do. Um, bringing my brother, oh, bring Yao Yao. Okay, uh, can you add me? Yes, you may add me. If you happen to be in the EU server, then, well, yeah, it kind of depends if you're in the EU server. If you are, then go ahead and people are welcome to fight bosses with me and stuff in general, um, as long as it's when I'm fighting the bosses. Where did you go? Are you in the ground? Wait, <gasps> are you the little bird thing? Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I love it. <laughs> then yes, go ahead, add me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh! I don't like this. I'm already regretting this. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. I also... Did, okay, destroy it. Destroy the rings. But you need reactions to destroy the rings. I've only got Yao Yao. Yao Yao is great, but she's not very good <laughs> for reactions. Oh, Yao Yao's dead. I don't think this is going to end very well. <laughs> That took like two minutes and Yao Yao's already gone. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna be able to do it, but you know what? <laughs> might as well try. We might have to choose a different two bosses. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. Um... <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. Okay, okay. This, this is all going well. Okay, okay. I mean, oh, I say this is going well, literally nothing's happening, but it's taken away a tiny bit of health, but its little shield is about half dead, but itself, it's got like the tiniest sliver. <laughs> the tiniest sliver is gone, and that's about it. And so it's, it's not ending, is it? Okay. I mean, we'll see if it's any good, but uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of high hopes, but you know what? It might, it might be better. Okay, um... Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna risk it and look at the chat because I saw some things. Um... Ooh, thank you for following, Demon Tyrius. Oh, you'll be back. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. We we can do this, and then the little... Oh! <gasps> Excuse you, my dude. Where did you go? I did not appreciate the little teleport move. Oh. <sighs> These stupid elemental reactions which we can't do because... Yow, yow. The plants are beautiful and they do a lot of healing, but they don't actually react well with many- like, I guess they could do burning, but they don't really react with things in the same way that, like, fire does. Because fire reacts with pretty much everything. But the plants don't really. I mean, they do, but not in, like, a damage-doing way. <laughs> so it's not as useful. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Don't like the look of that, but that's fine. Okay, I'd say it's, like one third dead right now <laughs> like one third and then other than that I mean, oh no maybe oh it's a half now <gasps> maybe we will do it i i was too pessimistic i was too, too pessimistic it will be fine it w okay not liking the fire but it will be fine <laughs> it'll be fine okay okay um well that was quick we got rid of those fire shield incredibly quickly um Okay, okay. We have a lot of little little core oh, that's fine. A lot of little core things, um, which is interesting. So that that's good. We can do a lot of damage with those. Oh, did he just make a little portal? I don't like the looks of that. I I do love a good little space portal, but not when the space portal is you know, trying to attack me. That's less good. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Where's the button? Where's the button? Okay, this, this is okay. This is fine. Um, let's do this, and then let's do this. 
I'm just gonna collect them all. Just let's look it. Uh, let's do this. Do some plant damage, do some plant damage. Okay, okay. Eh, this is fine. Oh, eh, it's fine. <laughs> and then this is ready as well. And we're just gonna do some more stabbing. See this, very pretty, very cool, probably very deadly. I do not appreciate. I mean, I appreciate it for the aesthetics, but like, not for the um, deadly potential. Okay, it's very almost dead. Unless it does something incredibly, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, unless it does something incredibly dramatic, we're probably gonna do it. <gasps> I think we did it. Well, that's cool. That's like a portal, space portal. We do love a good space portal. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, ooh. Evergloom ring. That sounds fancy. That sounds fancy. Hey! I assume this is the person. Eh, I'm assuming this is them. Oh, you got a five. Oh, yeah, I got a five star artifact. It was quite fancy. I think I got a goblet thing. That's, that's always good. Anyway. <laughs> Now where are we going? Okay, this is I think the last one because, you know, last one. Oh, are we going for a wind cube? <laughs> the wind cube, the classic, the classic one. I guess what we're doing, we're going back to, back to the roots. In which case, I don't want Jean because Jean's not very helpful in this particular situation. So I think gonna grab Xiangling because Xiangling will be more helpful. Let me, let me grab Xiaoling. There she is. There you, there you go. That'll be good, because now we have... Um, Xiaoling and Yao Yao and... Oh, I think it's Mona. Yeah, that's water, so that's perfect. Because that means we'll have... Where did you... Okay, are you flexing by running on the water? Fine, I'll, I'll run around the outside. Um, and then we can have... We can make the the the, the bloom things, <laughs> the little the little plant things that come up when Yao Yao throws radishes at something that's wet. <laughs> I always forget what these things are supposed to be called. And then Xiang Ling can set them on fire, which is also good. Okay. Um. Well, that was quick. <laughs> okay. Let me do this, and then let me do this. Okay. Things are happening. Things are happening. Oh, this is ready. Oh, okay, I'll wait till next time because we're gonna need to wait a second for that to be effective. Let's grab that. Oh, you know what? Do this. <laughs> Was that a good idea? No, but it kind of worked. <laughs> okay, and then let me do this. And then let me, oh yeah, I should probably use Xiangling to do the stabbing. I think she's got more damage than Yao Yao does. So the general stabbing, I should probably use Xiangling. Okay, let me do this and then this and then this. And just click it a whole bunch. Okay, it's like, oh, it's going down quick. It's like one, okay, more like two fifths, two fifths down, which is good. That's very good. Okay, um, oh, I didn't grab the chili. Let me grab the chili. Okay, the chili's good. I think chili boosts your attack. Oh, okay, this is not good. Oh, uh, Xiangling's dead. That's fine. <laughs> that was my bad. I didn't pay enough attention to where the whirlpools were going. So we're gonna heal her up. And then we're gonna do this. Okay, no, I should have done that close. Okay, this is fine. If we're in here, that's gonna be good because this thing does the damage. Um, no, this this thing is a healing circle. So if Xiangli's in the circle, she does get a little bit of health back, which is good. Um, okay. Uh-oh, this, this is fine. Okay, now we're gonna need to grab these things. I always hate these things though because I'm never very quick at grabbing them, which means that it's always kind of like randomly sp okay i've been sucked in that's bad but that's okay i mean it's not really okay but that's fine it's currently not in attacking mode so that that, that part's good okay, let me do this see if i can heal up xiangling a bit because uh she's not doing so good oh i forgot Jean's not here which means if it does the big okay i'm probably not going to survive this okay gotta switch to xiangling and hope that xiangling can take one of the hits because that thing, deadly move. Deadly. And really hard to survive. <laughs> but that, that's okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we just need... Okay, no, I wanted to heal up Yao Yao. Okay, no, I can heal up Yao Yao. I'm gonna 
take a break. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a second to heal up Yao Yao. Um, so she's not is immediately about to die. Okay, this is fine. Um, maybe I should do that. Let me try and grab this. And then I surely tried to grab that one, but I missed, but that's okay. Okay, let's do this. And then let's do this. Oh, I think I was slightly too slow. Oh no, oh no. Come back here, cube. Come back here so I can stab you. Uh oh, this is fine. As long as I avoid the tornadoes, it's gonna be okay. Uh oh, I set one of them on fire. But that's fine. That That's okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, let me... Xiangling needs some health boost. Oh, okay. It's back. We can do this. And then we can do this. And then everything's gonna be fine. It's just gonna... We're just gonna set it on fire. Okay, um... Okay. This is... It's gonna be okay. <laughs> is it gonna be... Mm. Yeah, it'll be okay. I think if we can do it quick enough, then it will... Then we don't have to worry about it, because it will just... <laughs> perish. And then we don't have to worry about the special attack. I'm hoping we can get rid of it before it does its big attack, because if it does its big attack... Oh, I think it's too late. It's probably doing it... Or no, maybe not. Maybe it's not too late yet. Oh, no, it's doing it now. Okay, so Xiangling can only... Okay, Yao Yao, take a hit. And then... Oh! That's really bad! But that's okay! <laughs> this is gonna be fine. I was like, Yao Yao and Xiangling are both almost dead. But it's okay. The good news is, when it does this attack, it doesn't really do many attacks, like, when it's just sort of standing there. You can sort of fight it without having to worry about it attacking you. As long as you can dodge the other things, you're usually good. <laughs> okay, okay, this, this is fine. Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll just, we'll just stab it a bunch. Okay, I think it's doing the thing. Um, okay. Okay. Time to grab these things. I missed horribly, but this one I should be able to grab. Is that all of them? I think it's all of them. Okay, this is fine. I'd love to switch to Yao Yao, but I think it usually does a big explosion thing, and I don't want to... Oh no, okay, it hasn't done it yet. This is fine. And then let's do this, and then let's do this. Oh, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Um, let me just clear a whole bunch. <gasps> Success. This, this is a classic one. You gotta fight the cube every so often. I haven't fought the wind cube in like forever. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day.